Well, best we start looking for a way underground. Keep a lookout for a cave. Come on, brother. Let's have it. You mentioned you had a favorite poem from your homeland. What was it about? A cunning general. A war over forbidden love. I believe I've heard of this one. Did it involve a horse that was not as it appeared? Yes. But that is not what happened. Oh, it's based on truth then. And you were there. Yes. I prefer the poem. Sarah never saw how poorly these lands fared in his absence, did he? He would appreciate our efforts out here. Aye. Hearing the song of the sands again is a rare privilege, even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this Hofgufa is free. It is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. More hive that as well. I'd say we're on the right track, then. <laughs> mm. This kind of hive material is sensitive to sound. When I last came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the absence of all kinds of light was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by hive matter. Aye. And as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the Light Well, or even our trapped half giver for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Mimir. Well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. More hive, but denser. Well, there you go. Brother, the bastard's about to explode! Yo! 
Underneath the barons, do they? Territory changes hands often in Nalfheim, or so it appears. Fakir did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at least they tried. Good eye. Let's continue, shall we? Goofus will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of Alfheim filled with their song. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from a harsh world. I can relate. I wonder if these two comprehend the choice they face once free. What choice do you speak of? The life cycle of the Hafgufa. In order to breed, they must pass on their life to their children. And without light, they will die. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. That our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. Given another chance.
there. to the surface. Used in many of Freyr's blessings, I imagine. Does it? There once was a blacksmith whose king commanded him to construct a box that could contain all the evils of the world. But no metal could hold such a power. So the blacksmith used the flame Kratos, of... is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. Way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your stories... What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mamir is the better storyteller. Now, don't sell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Finish your story, Kratos. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those who were Well, at least it's a relatable story. <laughs> Years we've overstayed our welcome in Alfheim. Time to end this storm. Thank <laughs> you. 
comfort. Take solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know there is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments section what you thought about it below. Check the links in the description and you can pick which platforms to follow me on. If you're new around here, how about subscribing and clicking the notification bell as I put out new videos every single day. I've been Victor the Dragon and I'll speak to you soon.